and I'm here to try and make you think and so if you want to think then just see if you can solve this problem I'll put a problem on the board for you but why these famous people are on the board whether it's um, golfers or basketball players or actors or, or comedians or uh, musicians why they're there ladies and gentlemen is because they've left planet earth and I stand here because one day you'll leave planet earth and I've got an answer that you need to consider and that's why I'm here now some people tell me they don't believe in God and if you don't believe in God I am now going to stump you ready you can answer if you don't believe in God I'm now going to stump you I'll show you what I mean a few years ago in this newspaper came Rex the robot now anybody who doesn't believe there's a God or anybody who says an atheist, I invite you to stop and you can give me your opinion and in this newspaper they made this robot all right and the people who made the robot were these. And it featured in the oh, newspaper. Yeah. So there we go. That was the robot they produced. That was the article in the Daily Mail. And this was the different scientists and clever people who put that robot together. And this happened about five years ago. And it was in the newspaper. So Rex the robot came out of this. Now, here's my question if you don't believe there's a God. I'm going to stump you, you're going to be stuck. I'll show you what I mean. So these brainy people produced him, Rex, okay? Now, if you don't think there's a God, I'm going to ask you a really hard question. And I want you to answer, I don't want you to bottle out. Men of Preston, women of Preston, don't bottle out, okay? Just answer the question, it's dead easy. So Rex the robots made by these scientists. Now I'm going to show you another robot. Are you ready? How about that? Now here's my question. Ready? Which is the most... Which is the most advanced robot? Watch it. That one that all these brainy people had to produce. Or this one. Which... Is it that one or that one? In other words, I'm saying to you, did that metal robot make this, or did that make that? So if you've got something to say, I'm glad to hear, but don't mock and laugh off. Ladies and gentlemen, all I'm saying is, did that make that, or did them, when they grew up, make that? Which way was it? Well, you know, it's obvious that to produce a robot, you need brains. Now listen to this. Why does virtually everybody in the UK, without questioning, gullible UK, without questioning, why do they all believe that we got everything out of nothing? Because you need brains to produce a simple robot, so you're going to need a greater brain to produce that. Because that's much more complicated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm saying to you, if you don't believe there's a God, to kick it all off, how can you answer that question? How can you get everything from nothing? You can't, it's impossible. And so I ask people, now the reason I put these famous people on the board is simply because they've got something in common. Some of them died young, some of them died not so young, but all of them died. And I want to ask you a question. If today was your last day on planet Earth, so let's say it was my last day, well, you rob a bank, sir, so your dad guilty. Oh. <laughs> you would. Thou shalt not be no, guilty. Dad guilty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if it was your last day on planet Earth, would you make it to heaven? No. Now, I'll tell you how you can't make it to heaven, and I'll tell you how you can. You can't make it to heaven by being good. Did you know that? Billions of people don't know that. They all think you've got to be good. No, you don't. Because nobody's good. You've got to be perfect, not good. And nobody's perfect. So you can either try and make it on your own steam, or I've got some great news for you. Ready? 2,000 years ago, a man entered this world who split time in two. 
Are you? Yeah. What's he saying? Yeah, Is he? Well, when you're meeting, you can tell him. Every eye will see him. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Everyone, everyone. See, ladies and gentlemen, there's the fact. What? This is the history of England. Now, who's right at the bottom? Somebody with the initials JC. There's Julius Caesar and another JC. Who can it be? I'll tell you. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. And he came into the world and he came for do one particular task, one job. And that was to hang on a cross to take our sins. Whether you're in England or whether you're in the States or whether you're in the Far East or the Middle East, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, the great news is your death has been conquered. If only you'll stop and think about it, your grave has been beaten. So has mine. And when a person comes to a point and they put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you know what happens to them? They get heaven, they get forgiven, they get the past cleansed, they get the blood of Jesus to wash them all sin, and they get a place and a home in eternity that's secure. Ladies and gentlemen, these people, and I could put millions more on, but I haven't got millions of pictures with me. Millions more on, and they're going to leave this world, or they've left this world. And ladies and gentlemen, if you leave this world unforgiven, the Bible says that you go to your own judgment. This is what it says. It's appointed unto man, woman, to die once, and after this judgment. And I don't want you to go to a judgment guilty. You can go to your judgment clean, forgiven, cleansed. But it's only by the blood of Jesus, nobody else. There's not a religion in the world that can get you there. But Jesus can forgive you. I'm going to stop there. If you've got a question, please ask. It's starting to get in the community. Can I just say, because of distance, I've left some books over there. If you're into sport, there's several sports people can come Christian. If you're from the Muslim faith, does a Muslim man become a Christian? It's on that bench. Little track, which is a little booklet. His name's Farouk. It's on that bench there. And also, there's a book there, which is a blue book, and it's people's lives have been changed. If you like them, they're absolutely free. We'll have a break. God bless you. Have a good afternoon. Would you like a book, sir? You can have one.